Good luck to both of okay, you. Shake hands. The expectation is that Butler will rush Lewis. The question is, can Lewis hold him off until... Denkin gave instructions. Pepe Correa, Lennox Lewis's former trainer, stared at the former champion with hatred in his eyes, but couldn't get eye contact in return. Lennox was looking at his man, Lionel Butler. Lewis starts out throwing the jab after Butler's two initial charges don't gain contact, and now here comes Butler bullying in again. He should take advantage of his height, stand a little straighter up, and just do like a bull and a matador. Just stand there and move this guy, wave him off. Butler lands a right hand, and now Lewis comes back with a right cross and a right uppercut. Butler tries that left hand and takes a right and a left in return from Lewis. And a hard uppercut by Lewis. You can see that Butler, a big man, takes a shot pretty well. Butler lands with a left hand. Lewis cracks with a right. Lincoln tells him he... He cracks you two or three times. Woo! Two right hands right there. That hurt. When you're hit with one of Lennox Lewis' right hands, you are hit. You stand on your feet, that means you are a natural man. And Butler is trying to present the impression that he wasn't hurt. Round five begins. Another hard right hand, and down goes Butler. Three, four, you all right? Five, get your hands up. Six, seven, eight. Come on over here. Wait a Well, that was a right hand lead, George, and it was a pretty good idea. One. Yep, and he should be able to push a guy when he's running to him like that. Next time you push him, I'm going to take a point away. I'll push him. But Dinkin says he'll take a point away if Lennox does it again. Yeah, but that was a way to get this guy. He ran into him like a horse. I've never heard a referee talk so much in the ring in my life. What is Marty Dinkins doing? It's getting better here as he goes along. And that right hand might be enough to finish it. And it is. Marty Deacons is doing a wonderful job now. And the thunder is still there in Lennox Lewis's right hand. As we take a look now, George, at the first knockdown. That was the right hand lead followed by a left. That's right. He was able to land a combination and not put too much of his body out of out of position. So he was able to do nothing but punch and not land his body there to. And now here's the finish of the fight as Lewis will first pound him into the ropes with that the right, right hand. That right hand hurt right quick. It was a matter of just finishing it. The others were just wild, but that initial right hand to finish it was just as great a right hand as I've ever seen. Watch again. That one landed flush, and Marty Denkin with what I have to think was a very good stoppage. 